Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Robert J. Gilbert. In this episode, we will continue our exploration of hidden sacred geometry patterns with the six-pointed star form of the first level of our consciousness, which in the Western tradition is called the astral body. So while our etheric life body manifests in space as the five-pointed form of a star or a pentagram, the astral body of consciousness has as one of its forms the hexagram in three dimensions, which is known technically as the stellated octahedron, or more popularly, as the star tetrahedron. Let's take a look at some of the sacred geometry secrets behind this form of our soul body, the astral body of consciousness. This journey into secrets of the Merkaba, our activated body of soul travel, will take us into core sacred geometry blueprints from the mind of God. In the esoteric tradition, each of the four elements is a manifestation of the primary subtle body levels. Earth equals our physical body. Water equals our etheric body of life force. Air equals our soul or astral body of consciousness. And fire equals our spirit core. So from the hidden temple teachings, the octahedron is the form which completes and encloses the cubical cross by connecting the ends of the three axes of physical space. For as the cube encloses the cubical cross of physical space by creating a wall at the end of each axis. As we have seen, this makes the black cube of space, the divine thought form behind the container of the physical world for spirits to incarnate into. So the octahedron is the opposite polarity to the black cube container of the physical body. It is the astral body of consciousness within the physical. This is the sacred geometry from the mind of God, of how our soul life is hidden within our physical body. We need to remember that in the hidden temple teachings, the term astral comes from the root aster, meaning a star. A star is a point of light in the darkness. So the next part of the deeper Merkaba teaching is that many fundamental sacred geometry forms can be turned into a star form, a process called stellation. The basic geometric solid form is a vessel, a container, whereas the star form radiates outward like a sun rather than containing. You will recall that when we do the zero point centering process, we move all of our energy and attention dynamically into the center of the center of the center of an energetic location in our body in order to connect to the divine center of that location and thereby activate it. Once we have activated that center, then the radiance process begins. The activated center streams out energy and light in all directions like a sun. This is the master method to activate any energy center in our body. It's a key technique for advanced spiritual practices. In pure sacred geometry archetypes from the mind of God, a solid form like a platonic solid can turn into a star through a similar process. Energy on every face of the form streams into the center of that face, activating that center and raising it vertically above the face. Lines of energy then connect that raised center to the baselines of that face. The octahedron of the air and astral consciousness stellates by taking the divine center of each face and moving it straight upward, then connecting it to the triangle of each face, thus making the stellated octahedron. This also means that the connection of the raised central point to the triangular base makes a tetrahedron on each face of the octahedron. These eight tetrahedrons, one on each of the eight faces of the octahedron, then remarkably give the appearance of the entire form, now being two interpenetrating tetrahedra. This is the reason for the alternative name for the stellated octahedron being the star tetrahedron, a name popularized by Leonardo da Vinci. So the activation of the octahedron into a radiant star form creates the stellated octahedron, which could also be seen as a star tetrahedron. Both perspectives are accurate. Each one is a different facet of the jewel 
of this exquisite spiritual form from the mind of God. From the second perspective of adding the tetrahedrons onto each face and thereby turning the entire form of the octahedron into what appears to be a double tetrahedron, it is important to note that the tetrahedron is the form for fire. Fire is the element connected to our spirit core, our divine spark from the ocean of fire of the Godhead, which gets activated above our heads during higher initiation. So what does this all mean? It means that the Merkaba activation of our subtle bodies allows them to become divine vehicles for us to move through higher worlds, which is one of the greatest attainments of spiritual development and a great ancient secret of initiation. This activation of the Merkaba is based on the activation of our consciousness, the astral body of the octahedron, through applying the tetrahedron of spiritual fire. This brings us to another great hidden sacred geometry secret of our activated soul body, the star tetrahedron, that it is formed within the incubator of the black cube of physical incarnation, which unfolds into the cross of our physical body. This means that it is through our difficult experiences of incarnation in the physical body, in a physical world, that our activated soul body of the star tetrahedron gestates into its perfected form, like a caterpillar in a cocoon becoming the butterfly. The star tetrahedron of our activated soul body is thus the fruit of our earthly physical incarnation, which although often challenging and painful, is nonetheless essential for humanity's spiritual flowering. When the cube of space is unfolded into the cross of our physical body, the star tetrahedron of our activated consciousness is revealed. This black cube is the matrix in which our perfected consciousness, our star tetrahedron soul body, gestates in the cocoon of the physical body until we are ready for full spiritual initiation and Merkaba activation. This is the mystery of the Rosicrucian symbol of the black cross of the physical body giving rise to the seven red roses of our activated chakras. Only through accepting the density and suffering of physical incarnation can we develop the red roses and develop the star tetrahedron of our Merkaba soul vehicle. There is also a hidden complementary mystery to the generation of our activated soul body within the cube and the cross of our physical body. This secret is that it is our activated astral body which provides a deeper structural support for the physical body itself. The star tetrahedron is the strength of our soul which keeps our physical body from collapsing from all the stresses of our physical life. This is shown in the work of Buckminster Fuller he demonstrated that a hollow cube is very unstable and collapses unless it is bracketed internally by the tetrahedron and octahedron triangular forms. Only these triangular forms have rigidity and internal strength. Without this internal bracketing, hollow cube forms made with soft corners will immediately collapse, whereas hollow tetrahedra with octahedra create unbreakable structures this is also the key to Bucky Fuller's development of the geodesic dome as the strongest possible form made with the minimum of materials through using the triangular truss system. So we have just seen some of the hidden secrets from the mind of God related to the activation of the human soul within the Merkaba process. This shows how our physical existence is essential to the activation of the soul body, the star tetrahedron. Like so many sacred geometry mysteries, hints of these divine secrets are given in classical text and illustrations. The star tetrahedron is usually shown in classical illustrations simply as a six-pointed star, a hexagram, as seen here in this Indian yantra of Ganesh. Note that this shows the upper horizontal line of the star tetrahedron at the level of the shoulders and the lower horizontal line at the level of the knees. This is embedded initiation knowledge, 
regarding where the lines of the star tetrahedron actually appear on the human body. This exact information on where the upper and lower horizontal lines appear on the body was also given in the Western tradition by Rudolf Steiner in 1907, when he revealed the secret of the five-pointed star and six-pointed star, star tetrahedron, forms of the human etheric and astral bodies. Traditions all over the world use these pentagram and hexagram patterns in practices to create health, to prolong life, and to protect the energy field. Also, to provide wealth and to connect to higher beings and spiritual realities. Our Merkaba subtle body vehicles are only one part of the sacred geometry of our energy fields, which allow us to incarnate on Earth. For a spirit to incarnate into a human body, there's an intricate further process of creating the physical and subtle bodies. In Sanskrit, our bodies are known as koshas, meaning sheaths or vehicles, for the spirit to incarnate on each plane of existence. For example, the Anamaya Kosha means literally the sheath made of food. This is our physical body, which is created out of the substance of the physical food our mother eats while we're in the womb, and then the physical food that we eat after our birth. In other words, our physical body is based on forming physical substance through the consciousness and energy grid of the net into the divine sacred geometry pattern of the human body so that our spirit can act on the physical plane. The next body is the pranamaya kosha, the sheath of vital energy. Life energy is known to every classical tradition and was an essential foundation of key spiritual and healing practices. Life energy was known by different names, such as prana in India, chi in China, ki in Japan, ether in Greek. Then there are further sheaths of the human being on increasingly higher plane levels. There are many different models of the different planes and subtle bodies that are taught in different traditions. However, they are all united by a common understanding that just as we are given a physical body through which our spirit incarnates to act on the physical plane, each of our subtle bodies is a detachment of the substance of a particular higher plane which we individualize to become our vehicle so that we can experience and act on higher planes. We operate on all the major planes simultaneously. We experience this as simultaneously having sensations in the physical body and in our energetic state and in our emotions and in our thoughts and in our spiritual experiences all at the same time. 